Hi again, everybody. This is Mike and Scott from Wing Tun Geeks. I'm Mike here on the left, as usual. And I'm Scott over here on the right. Sweet. So, Mike, what are we going over today? Today we're going to take a look at a real simple lop sow drill. And um, we'll take a look also at the counter to the drill, which uh, you'll just head back to the website to check that out if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen it. Yep, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's Mike and I, just volleying back and forth, taking turns. Now the starting position for this drill is both guys will assume a right lead, okay? And uh, face each other with the back of the hands clasped, just like you see there. Okay, and we're just going back, uh, going through a few techniques. We're gonna break this down. Yeah, uh, trying to work minute. the outside, not going crazy, working on accuracy, I guess you can say flow. All right, Scott, so let's break this all down. This is the actual original drill. Um, what you really want to concentrate on and emphasize is uh, the lot. So let's yeah, check every, it out. Everything you saw, saw before that was really the icing on the cake. True. Just true. a bunch of extra stuff you can do after you do the original drill. So right. let's hit play. Boom. So the first thing to notice here is Mike's fully extended arm. That's Mike on the left. Uh, that's me. Fully extended arm. You never want to lop toward your body. As I had mentioned previously, there are plenty of styles that like to grab, so keep your opponent's appendages away from you. Yeah, some styles of Wing Chun, they do cut, do techniques towards your body. That's because you're trying to suck them in. But Mike and I like to believe that if you're pulling people towards you, it gives you them the perfect example to do a single or something to take it down to the ground. Yeah, perfect. So ideally, you want to lop across. Right. And the other thing to notice in this video, Scott, um, when we line up for this video, we're doing right lead to right lead with the backs of our hands touching. And um, when you take the lop and do the punch, you have to take your back leg and step out 45 degrees, a 45 degree angle. That's why you see I don't reach here. I'm just showing you the straight arm. In the next example, we're going to show that step at 45 degrees. Yeah, so like Mike was just saying, in the next video, he's actually going to do a step in this direction at a 45 degree angle. Which is a pretty important angle in uh, Wing Chun for a lot uh, of things. Wing, it's all about the 45 degrees. That being said, I think we're ready for the next video or our next section. section. I got gotcha. you. All right, so let's do it again. Three now, you'll set. notice that also sometimes the targets change. All right. There Here, notice once again the fully extended arm. Yeah, that's the most important part of the drill. That's the big emphasis. Yeah, that so. arm. Yep, fully extended. That's the lot going across in front and toward the camera, never down, never against the body. And the reason I reach so nicely here is because I stepped out with the back leg 45 degrees. Yeah, again, 45 <laughs> degrees. I hate to keep writing and writing it, but uh, it really is quite important. Okay. All right. So uh, you might have noticed on this particular drill, or this section of the drill, Mike hit low, and again we're going to reset, and Mike hit high in this one. It really doesn't make a difference, because in this uh, case, Mike is simply hitting a different zone. So over here, he's hitting the top zone. And on uh, the previous sections, he was hitting the lower zone. And the interesting thing about wh why you guys need to go and take a look at the counters video, uh, just go back to the website, it's right there, um, is because the counter is a technique that covers a zone. And we're going to see that in a lot of examples where you're trying to cover a zone, you don't really care where the punch is coming in, especially if you can't see it. Take a look at Scott, you really can't see over his shoulder there. So his, his counter, which we'll see in the next video, is um, covers uh, the, both of those, the blue circle and the orange circle. Yeah, so at the bottom of the screen, located under this video, is a link to the counter video. Definitely something you want to check out if you want to learn more. All right. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.